being new to the, to the, news, to the Wellington area has it, been huge for me because, you know, let alone driving in Wellington, there are other things, but um, it's just the fact that they've just been so friendly and welcoming and there's been a lot of optimism around what, what we're doing. It's nice to have the players I've got. I didn't pull them in. I think that now, in this day of the professional netball player, that they make up their own minds what is best for them, and so that's what happened, and, um, and actually it's been really fun and exciting working with them. They're winning, their, their past is history, so we're starting again, really, so we have talked about that, mainly just as a team, what we can do for a team as a team, just take the individual bit out, take the eye out and go for the we, and, and the hardness that's needed to be successful and the um, continual development of self-improvement and um, just all those sort of resourcefulness and, and perseverance that you need to, to have a winning culture. It doesn't happen overnight but I can tell with this team that, it, that they're hungry for it too so I'm just hoping that's successful. I've had lots of opportunities to work with very many coaches and certainly Netball New Zealand has provided me with lots of opportunities to coach teams and be with people that are top level coaches. Um, the ANZ is a further extension of that because there's a lovely sharing and lovely comradeship between the coaches in both Australia and New Zealand and I really enjoy talking to the Australian coaches and you know I value the New Zealand coaches as friends as well as coaches so there's plenty of people to help when you want help.